What is going on everyone? Matthew 910 here and today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review and this is actually going to be a dual review so let's go ahead and uh, keep it moving. Uh, this is going to be the SH Figure Arts Shin Kamen Rider Bata Og uh, variation I think that's what it's called. I just call them the Shocker Riders because that's kind of what they're supposed to be uh, from the original series. So with that being said, nothing more to it. Then you get on right on into it. And a loss, we're going to move with pace and urgency. Uh, only because this is a doer review, and a lot of the times, even on like a singular review, I can take up to like 20 or so minutes for just one figure. So we're gonna go ahead and try not to get past 40 minutes on this video, but we shall see, right? So let's go ahead and take out our protective packaging. All right, there's no um, no label for me to accidentally dox myself, at least as of right now. You can kind of see both boxes there, a smaller box and a larger box. But yep, uh, this one comes out from Hobby Genki. I did not order these from Premium Bandai because I believe that in all honesty, it's probably worth it to not purchase from Premium Bandai, uh, especially directly. And I'll get to that in a couple of reasons. I know there's a couple of franchises that don't really like uh, Premium Bandai in general, which is valid. I know I've heard some uh, nightmarish tales on how they operate. And I really don't order from them too much, only when there really isn't an option. But um, here we are, right? We do have our products but not from premium bandai nonetheless so boom there is our first box this is just kind of like the uh, case box if you will just easy for mass quantity and um yep we're still getting out the last box here for it boom there we go so this is a duo reveal because it feels uh very easy to make this a duo review so uh right here we have the front packaging of the cyclone the shocker cyclone what, is it? what do they actually call it Phase Variation Bata Og Cyclone, right? So <laughs> I'm just going to refer to the Shocker ones just because that was kind of their concept, right? A lot of cool uh, artwork here. You've kind of got uh, what you can do, the versatility with the Cyclone. And then those are the bottom of the box. We're going to set that to the side. Next up, we do have the actual figure itself. Phase Variation Bata Og. Z, Ogs, plural. And then here's a nice, very nice pose there, kind of your standard. Uh, figure arts box, uh, some stock photos of how the figure will look outside of the box. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and do the actual uh, on quotation writer. And so it looks like we do have some instructions on that side of the box. It's pretty simple saying don't bend it and don't bend the uh, prongs on the helmet. And just kind of go through all the accessories. So that is our box. We're going to gently set that down there. And we will keep moving along. So it's a little bit of a lift. A little bit of plastic lifting there. Uh, going on to the accessories just to get them out of the way. We do have this kind of like AR type of weapon. Uh, it looks like more like a submachine gun if I'm being honest. But uh, very cool. It's just kind of one singular color. We do have two sets of other hands looks like these are probably for holding the gun or for the motorcycle itself Ooh. and then next up we kind of had to have like an open palm almost like in terms of like grabbing something potentially right and so there we go here we are we've made it to the actual figure we kind of have our nice little protective it's uh plastic if you will it's just kind of like a soft plastic i mean it's more of just like film. That's kind of what it feels like. Uh, just to protect the figure in its box so that it is not um, getting contorted in any way, which is very nice. So looks like there was what, maybe about four of those there. This one's always the toughest to get off. The one in the waist. I want to say that's it. So let's go ahead and bring out our figure here and look at that there. As you can see, it's just all kind of like a very nice black. You can kind of see some like a, a tactical gray slash a marsh green. Uh, on the padding there as you can see here so very very cool as always we're going to start off with our head so head accessories none but it looks like we can get some rotation in there as well as you can see uh, you can look up 
you can look down uh, quite a bit. And uh, you can't really like swivel too hard because of that uh, yellow scarf piece there. So that's kind of just like sitting there. Uh, but yeah, it's still very good nonetheless, right? That's our kind of like our neck piece there. It's just kind of its own little piece. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and do the arms. So it's kind of like your standard, right? You can go all the way around. Looks like we have an elbow joint there. You cannot push it more uh, back farther than that. And then it looks like we have a fist joint as well. So very, very cool. Um, next up, let's go ahead and do the abdomen section. And honestly, it does look a little bit different. As you can see here, it's kind of have this, it kind of has this like pipeline there, if you will. I'm not entirely sure um, exactly what that is. But um, honestly, the chest piece itself, it's kind of just, it seems like it's one giant piece, right? You can look up, you can kind of look down, but now you're starting to reach the, uh, I guess, oh, uh, if you want to phrase it, I guess the, I don't know if it actually has a name, Bata Arg Typhoon, I guess, if you want to call it that. But funnily enough, uh, it looks like these little wires that are connected here, they are connected from the bottom chest plate to the uh, belt. So very interesting. And then some of the other rider figures, you can move the breastplate a little bit, but this one's really stiff. You can't really get into it. So next up to the lower part of the body, we do have, let's going to move this up for now. So next up, we do have the lower body, right? We left off at the belt going towards this area here with our leg. You can kick it all the way out. Can't really, you can kind of swivel it, right? You can swivel around. Let's get a better view of that. You can swivel around. You can't go all the way back because of this butt piece, but you can get a really good swivel nonetheless. So that's awesome. You know, look at the little gun there, right? Little little handgun. Can you take that out? No, it doesn't seem like it. Anyways, uh, we've got a knee joint as well, right? A very nice knee joint there. And then if you want to make it go all the way back, and then if you want to make it go up, you can. And then you can always swivel it out just like that. And last but not least, we do have a the foot piece right in here, which can get a good swivel on. And it kind of rotates a little bit weird. But nonetheless, uh, to finish off the joint, we do have a like toe joint, if you want to call it that, or end of the shoe joint, I guess maybe might be a better term. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for our Bata Og variation. Um, and I mean, obviously you can design and uh, customize however you want it to look. So let's do this. So let's get our gun here, just because I'm sure that's the most uh, viable accessory. Let's go ahead and get our hand. And there, I just grabbed this hand, for example. It looks like that's the left, right? I'd assume it's like that left hand there. So let's assume that they are using the submachine gun in the left hand. And we're just going to connect the joint and then repurpose re the gun in hand. There you go. Oh, well, not really, but let's go ahead and try that once again. Maybe it might be a different hand here. Let's go ahead and try that just for the sake of it. We're going to go ahead and put it in right there. This is the different hand, and this one feels a lot tighter. I can't say that the gun wants to uh, go in all the way. So let's go try this. All right, so there we go. And then I guess that one works a little bit better. Um, I would say so. The other hand accessory where it's a little bit more of like a closed hand there. So if you want, you can definitely do that as well. And then obviously you can pose it to the best of your ability, right? So make some cool poses there. So pretty cool. Um, that's really about it. I know I'm not trying, I'm not trying to rush to the end, but we do have another one right here. So we're going to go ahead and just move on. We're going to have our cool uh, Bata Og right there while we open up the Cyclone for the Bata Og. So let us keep going along. Definitely a very nice figure. At first, I was really like, oh, I don't know if I need to get it. Um, but I figured, hey, I've pretty much got every other one. So let's go ahead and do it right. So we're going to move him to the side of the front here. And going on with the Cyclone. Bata Og Cyclone, Chalker Cyclone. Lift it out. So we have our muffler pieces here. And where is our stand? Our stand is going to be the saving grace. If I can get it out, just gonna plop that in just for a good stand. We do have this 
very uh, bottom stand there. And ah, okay, so here we go. These are the actual hands for our uh, Bata Aug to ride the Cyclone. So it looks like they came within the Cyclone and not the actual figure. And so um, I was moving on here. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it just a little bit just so we can see the entire wheels that's going on. A little bit of a lower camera angle, but as you can see there, it's a very, very nice white and black paint app on the bike. Very different from the Cyclone that we have reviewed previously. But just one moment, I'm trying to get this on here. A little hard. There we go. Alas, right? So it looks like, I guess technically the rims of the motorcycle would be here, but I mean, just looking at them, they have kind of like a gold paint application, which actually looks really, really nice, especially with the black kind of on the uh, border here. Um, you have a lot of things that are going which looks great. I don't know a lot of motorcycle lingo, so please do not flame me, but um, very cool. There's the underside of the bike. You can kind of see all that's happening, which is awesome. I actually really like this one, but uh, I mean, at least on this one, the coloration is just a simple white and black compared to the other Cyclones, and we will definitely be doing another review, or not a review, a comparison with that. There are the headlights, which are awesome. You kind of have the shocker symbol there and then the bike itself. It's pretty much the same mold, um, just different colors, which looks very nice. And that's really, I mean, that's really about it. Uh, if anything, we're gonna go ahead and set it down here. And we're gonna go hands-on. So let's recreate the stock image. So let's go ahead and take that off. Let's go ahead and grab our right hand uh, motorcycle hand attachment. And then, I was never really too good at this, but if anything, let's kind of like bend, let's make sure that we make him look a little bit smaller. And then from there, it would be something like that. Twist the arm, so we're getting a, a full kind of rotation there. And the mufflers fell down once again. Might have to jump cut this. This one, these are always kind of hard for me to get going and so I apologize on that front. There we go. Does that look a little weird? Like his feet aren't on the uh, the pedals down there. But alas, um, okay, let's bring this back down. This is just like a super simple, fast, kind of like looking at it type of deal. Let's go ahead and bring the head up. And yeah, I mean, that's a very, very short time uh, period. And I know it doesn't look the best, but this isn't kind of like what it would look like. I know the muffler piece fell down there, but just for example, that's kind of what it'll look like. So I'll go ahead and do a jump cut of that uh, at the end when we have everything re uh, assembled. But with that being said, let's go ahead and do some of our comparisons. So we're gonna go ahead and have our Cyclone there and our Bata Aug over here. We'll have, we'll drop the gun for now and then we'll give them a fist. So very cool, very nice. Sorry, I know I'm still on camera. I'm just not speaking. I'm trying to get this going. Come on. There we go. Very, very nice. Just kind of like a very standard pose. We'll move all of our accessories here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do some quick comparisons. Uh, first up, we'll start off with the Premium Bandai Takeshi Hongo figure that they did. And uh, as you can see, I kind of have them in the battle pose ready to go in that underground tunnel scene but they're pretty much on scale i know that if i really wanted to if we really wanted to get the height correct here in terms of standing they're about the same i would say give or take about the same size if anything the shocker rider actually might be a little bit taller but that's my that might be because i'm having it look up compared to uh, hongo there so 
going back down. I'm only gonna do Hongo and um, Ichimonji, simply because that's really kind of like the only part where they're in the movies when they're fighting them. So once again, uh, it looks like Ichimonji is at, at length, maybe a little bit taller, but still very, very cool. And the whole sequence when they're fighting, I know it's a little bit dark, but it is still very cool nonetheless. So at least in terms of height, right? So you can get a nice diorama if you would like to do that. And if you buy like eight more of these, then it's, um, that would be kind of funny too. So we're gonna go ahead and put him back in the pose just very quickly. So yeah, if you can kind of see the height. So like you can't see him there but you can kind of see them there, or at least little prongs, but not really. But yep, that's it, at least for those type of figures. Next up, we'll go ahead and do the Cyclone, and then we'll have some final thoughts. So here it is. This is just the base Cyclone. We are due for the Shin Cyclone soon enough. Let's go ahead and try and put this one back on. There we go. So it looks like those gold uh, rims on the bottom of the wheel there are like are on both. I guess I just didn't notice that on first glance, but um, here it is. As you can see, the white and the black are just kind of there. Uh, this one does have these like little black accent stripes on the red here. Compared to here, it looks like it's just straight black, maybe a hint of gray. Nope, just straight black. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's what you'd think it would be, right? It's just the Cyclone but with the kind of different paint application. We have yet to get the Shin, Shin Cyclone, like I said, but that one doesn't come out in Japan until like May or so. So very cool. You can kind of see some of the little differences on the bikes there, the red and the black compared to just the straight black and white, as you can see on the front of the bikes as well. So very nice. Man, that my, oh. These motorcycles, huh? Anyways, the muffler really wants to come off there, so very, very nice with that. And with that, with our comparisons being complete, I'm gonna go ahead and come back and have both of these uh, in a very nice position, and we'll have our final thoughts. So with that, let's do it. All right, so we are back once again, just kind of just like a final conclusion spot for the figures here. So once again, we did have the Bataog variation, uh, just kind of like the soldier figure and then we did have the cyclone with it as well seen in that tunnel scene so very cool nonetheless uh, kind of have them in a little pose here as always you can just put them on plop them on and then you can kind of have whatever pose you would like uh, the figure to be in but I'm not sure I don't know if I'm going to stick with the standard I kind of like the pose I have here or maybe even holding the uh, assault rifle or submachine gun whatever it looks like I think it's a submachine gun um have that there but i mean it's pretty cool nonetheless uh besides these two figures that i think simultaneously came out at the same time uh i think besides these two the only shin common rider shf figure that we have remaining is the shin cyclone so i will definitely will be getting that um and i'm pretty much gonna have to wait for release on that one did not order that one for premium bandai and if you stuck around long enough i guess i can give the quick story because i know i didn't say it earlier but I think truthfully, if you are going to buy stuff like this and it's premium Bandai exclusive, if you don't want to wait, you can always just do the safe order on the website or wherever you are, because I know they kind of VPN or they kind of like lock it, uh, the Japanese website, at least here for me. Um, but there are various amounts of Japanese import sites. Like I said, I got this from Hobby Genki. And I know that Mecha Japan also does that. I know Toku Electables does that. I think even Big Pad Toy Store does it, but theirs is a little bit more pricier. So, I mean, to me, you're paying pretty much about the same price. The shipping might look really drastic, but even after you account the base price of the figure you have and the shipping domestically, it honestly is about the same as the Japanese one. So to me, it just makes more sense to get the Japanese versions uh, because one, they come out earlier, and two, they're roughly about the same price. So in that regard, I see it as a I see it as a win-win. But obviously, you are allowed to 
uh, feel allowed to purchase from whatever retailer you'd like. It's just my like advice, right? I've been collecting for too long. So there's some things I always like to throw in these videos to make it easier for some people. So with that being said, guys, let me know what you guys think of the <sighs> Shin Kamen Rider Battle Og variation um, soldier and the Cyclone Battle Og variation, or to me, just the Shocker uh, Riders, right? So uh, very cool. I'm very glad I decided to pick these up. And like I said, we're only one SHF figure away from the line being done until they reveal more. So we'll have to see what they end up doing with that. But as always, I will see you guys within the next video. See ya.